Hey guys, I'm David Elam, and today I want to teach you how to play Kingdom of Comfort by Delirious and Stoogy. This is one of my favorite Delirious songs. It's a super, super fun song to play. A great, great finger picking song. So if you're just getting started with finger picking or you're wanting to learn some more advanced patterns, this is a great one for you. Um, it's got a lot of really neat um, chords and just uh, fretboard work. A lot of really cool stuff here. So I'm excited to show it to you. All right, uh, before we dive in, I highly recommend going and downloading the PDF. This is the full tab of the song, the entire song, note by note. And uh, if you just click the link in the description below, it will take you to that and you can download it and follow along. So let's dive in, okay? Now first, uh, it'll notate this on the um, tab for you. But we're using an alternate tuning here. So I'm not in standard tuning, okay? Uh, the sixth string is D, the fifth string is G, the fourth string is D, the third string is G again, and then the second string is A, the first string is D. And I'm gonna start off with the bass part. So uh, the song actually begins with the chorus, which goes like this. Okay, but I'm gonna start off with the bass part just to kind of give you a sense of how the rhythm goes. And uh, this will help you a lot uh, to kind of get get hang of the, uh, the picking pattern. So here we go. So we're gonna go. So I'm going uh, third fret on the fifth string, second fret on the fifth string, then I go third fret on the sixth string, and I'm gonna pull off to the second fret of the sixth string, and then of course open, okay? So I'm pulling off there. That's a little tricky. When you pull off, you gotta pull down and away from the string. And you have to be careful not to not to get the fifth string ringing, and so you have to be really careful in your execution there. One thing I do is I use my first finger to mute the fifth string as I pull off the sixth string, and then when I pull down as well, just I'm really careful not to actually hit the fifth string and get it ringing. So I use my first finger a lot to mute the fifth string. So that's the bass part, okay? And then I'm going to show you how the uh, finger picking part goes in the right hand or the picking hand. So your thumb generally is going to carry the three bass strings, six, five, and four. And then you divide up the high three strings between these three fingers. I'm not going to go into a lot of technique just because this is more of a tutorial video on the song. But um, divide the top three strings amongst these three fingers, okay? We're mostly going to use these two. So I'm going to go like this. We go. Okay, that's the basic, basic pattern. So we're going to go five, four, two, five, three, four. Okay. Remember to download the tab. And you can see this. You can really break it down, take it as slow as you want. Um, I just want to give you the, the overview. So it's. Five, four, two, five, three, four. Five, four, two, five, three, four. Okay. Okay. So we go, we're here at the third fret on the fifth string and third fret of the second string, then second fret of the fifth string. Right there, whenever we hit the G, that's where we're going to go to the pull off. Okay, so we go five, four, two, five, three, four, five, four, two, five, three, six, and then carry through the same pattern just using six as the bass string. Then we're going to go to the 2nd fret of the 6th string, and then 
four and three open, third fret of the sixth string, and four and three open again. Okay, so that's okay. So again. So that's the whole chorus. Pretty, pretty straightforward. I shouldn't say simple. It does take some time to work up uh, speed and uh, dexterity in these finger picking patterns. Okay. And if you want to see a little bit more about ham or well pull off specifically, check out my video tutorial on In the River by Jesus Culture and Kim Walker. Um, I go into a little bit more depth on uh, proper pull-off technique in that video, and that'll help you if you're struggling with the pull-off, okay? So check out that video as well. Um, okay, so that's the whole chorus. Let's jump to the verse, okay? Now in the verse, it's the picking patterns are very similar, um, just slightly different, so I'll explain. We're gonna start here, um, on the seventh fret of the third string and the eighth fret of the sixth string. Let me play this whole sequence for you really quick just so you can hear it and see it and then I'll go back and explain what I'm doing. So it's got a really cool progression that goes like this. cool stuff. Um, I think Stu G and Martin and John Thatcher did an awesome job on this song. Chord progressions is so cool, great melodies, and Stu G just writes great guitar parts. He's one of my favorite guitar players. He just writes really, really good, good parts and parts that are really fun to play. So, um, <clears throat> uh, so we're on the seventh fret of the third string, eighth fret of the sixth string, okay? We're going to pluck those two strings together, okay? So in the verse, you're always going to pluck the sixth and third strings at the same time when, when starting a chord. And then, so pluck those together, and we're going to go in the strings four, two, six, three, four. So pluck six and three together, then four, two, six, three, So it's like this, here's the rhythm. Okay, and for those of you who like to count, uh, the rhythm is on the tab and I'll count it for you. So it's one and a two E and, then we jump to the next chord. One and a two E and, okay. So I'm doing the exact same thing, I've just jumped up two frets. So now I'm on the ninth fret of the third string, the 10th fret of the sixth string. And remember we're in an alternate tuning, so, of course, it sounds different than, than standard. Okay. So that's, uh, it's like B flat major, C major. We're going to go to a D minor like this. Exact same picking pattern. I'm on 10 and 12 now. Then we're going to slide up to 14 and 15. It's like an F6 chord. Okay. Now this next part is a little tricky. Just take some, a um, little bit of practice just jumping to some of these positions. Um, I've also got a really great video on uh, muscle memory and how to properly practice. So check that video out as well. Um, and the, the uh, muscle memory is so important. So just has to do with basically going back and forth between positions. So if you're struggling with any of these changes, like from here to the next chord, which is going to be five and seven here on the sixth and third strings, just go back and forth slowly so that you get that transition and you're really, really comfortable with it. Okay. All right. And then, so 
After we've done this, I'm gonna jump over here, to five and seven, same pattern. Now we go to, we're gonna to totally flip. We're gonna go seven on the sixth string and five on the third string. Isn't that really cool? Okay, exact same pattern as well. Then you're gonna slide your first finger down to the second fret of the third string. D5 chord. We're going to go back up to the B flat, so I'm on 7 again of the 3rd string, 8 of the 6th uh, string, same pattern, jump up 2 frets. Now we're going to change it a little bit here, keep your 1st finger the same, we're going to go up to the 11th fret, so here I was on 10, now I'm going to go to 11, throw a little accidental beauty in there, some dissonance. Now I'm going to go to the D minor. So that part again is. Now we're going to jump down to 5 and 7. This is a G. And then an A minor. Okay. And then we're going to go to. We're gonna slide our first finger down still, but we're gonna fret the third fret of the sixth string. This is gonna be an F6 chord as well. And then a beautiful little rest and pause of silence. Um, really, really cool white space in this song. So, great, there's some really great musical elements going on here. Um, so let's go over the whole verse one more time. So. Seven and eight, slide up two frets. Let me do that one more time. So it's like. Awesome. Okay, so that's the main part of the song. The only part left is the bridge, which is actually just a bunch of ambient electric stuff. You can't really hear what's happening in the background. So I took the liberty to just make up a part based on what uh, we're already doing, following the chord progression. So, and it sounds nice. It's fun, especially if you're playing by yourself, you would want to play it this way. And it's on the tab. Okay, so be sure to download that. So we're going to start on the B flat. The, the, uh, Bridge is going to go B flat, we're going to go down to A minor, okay, then a G minor, and then a F6, then we're going to go to an E, it's like an E11, it's really weird and dissonant and, and cool sounding. So, um, so yeah, it goes like this, a really nice uh, turnaround. So, same pattern as the verse. bit there I'm going first parts the same then we're gonna go six and three again then we're gonna go four three two one okay just straight up four three two one so I'm using my thumb first finger second finger third finger it's the only time in this song that I actually use my third finger okay just on the first string that one time so it's first and then the bridge is going to be super easy. Let that ring out and just come back up. So it just repeats this, that's all it does. A little bit of mystery in there. And then from there you can go straight back into the chorus. So, and 
just kill it. So um, that is how you play Kingdom of Comfort by Delirious. Super cool song. Hope you guys really uh, enjoy playing this song. I think you will. One of my students um, just did it in one of their recitals at Crash for the Nations and did a great job and really enjoyed learning it. Um, it's a super fun song to play. So check it out, okay? So really help you with your finger picking. Um, and uh, if you would, leave me a comment below. Let me know what's your favorite Delirious song. And who knows, I might just do a tutorial on it. So leave me a comment below. Let me know what's your favorite Delirious song that you might like to learn. Um, or anything else about this video, any other comments or anything, leave me a comment below, okay? Also, please subscribe to my channel. I give away free guitar lessons all the time. Pretty much every week, I'm giving away free lessons here on YouTube. So you're gonna wanna follow. Uh, I teach a lot of great things about mastering the fretboard, um, rhythm, give away lots of tabs and lots of uh, free resources really really juicy stuff stuff that you should be paying a lot of money for okay um so uh so be sure to subscribe and uh and don't forget to download the tabs as well all right thank you so much for for watching if you would do me a favor and like this video if you enjoyed it and share it with your friends and enjoy playing this song and i would love to hear your success or any struggles that you're having with this song if you have any questions about it at all please leave me a comment below and i'll happily get back to you uh, and uh, and do my best to help you in any way that i can so god bless you guys have a great week and go listen to some delirious you're awesome Save me.